Well, good morning, guys. It's one of the last days of harvest. And here Buck comes. He's rolling down. Now, our bin site has not been working at all. And we finally got it working, I think. So we're hoping this grain sells. Otherwise, it's... Did you just hit the auger, Buck? Not that I know of. Okay. It's all good. But otherwise, our grain's just been disappearing. And it hasn't been getting stored. And so that's been kind of an issue for us. Right now... We have like one field of corn. It's a big field of corn. It's a 160. It's a really long 160. We have yet to harvest here. If you take a look here, this is how much we've done. And we're running eight row head. Buck will not let me get 12 row head. So it's gonna take us forever to get this thing finished. But good news is it's yielding good and we're gonna get a ton of money from it. Buck, we're not getting more grain. Shut her off, Buck. I don't know what's happening, but it's not giving us more grain. Unfortunately, we have to sell our grain because the bin site's not working. It was, and we have some grain stored in there, but not all of it. What we actually have going on is we have a 4755, and there was a new mod that came out. Ross W made a 55, 6, and 50, 60 series mod. 50, 55, and 60. Oh, 50, 55, and 60 series John Deere mod. And so we're going to trade this tractor in. It's, we're going to get the exact same tractor, but it's got like a... a like better tires, it's got a, a couple more details like front weights, fenders, it's a really cool mod. So we're gonna get rid of this mod and then we'll be right back with another mod. Okay, so here's the customization of this. Since we're trading the same tractor, it's gonna be a little more expensive just depending on the mod type. It depends on the modder, what they priced it at. So we're gonna kinda offset it by adding in some money because we are literally getting the same tractor. So we'll go Firestone, which is a really nice tire. We'll go Firestone Duels on each side we'll go weights there we go old style weights beacon we don't need a beacon we'll do a black turbo air stack what's starfire no idea what that is get rid of that mirrors there we go that looks good flashers nah too new fenders we're gonna go the green fenders gosh those look good tray i think it's a tray inside the cab yep tray inside the cab we'll have a tray there Attachers, no, we do not need attacher on the front, and then loader. Okay, this is what we're going with. Perfect, get her bought, and there we go. We've got the 4755. Gosh, that is such a, it was just a couple small features, fenders, you know, a Firestone tires, and this thing looks a ton better. I like it. Gosh, that looks cool. That is Before cool. Before anyone asks, <sighs> we do not know if this thing is public or not. Yes. If you guys ask if it's public or not, we will send Richard's wife after you guys. We need to get another tractor of this mod. Like a... We need to, Buck. This is such a solid... I love all the options on it. We got the mirrors. Oh, yeah. This is solid. I, I really like the fenders the best. Fenders and tires. You should have thought about that before you wanted to go and buy all the other stuff that we already have on the farm. Well... Yeah. What was that maybe. whole thing about purchasing an Alice? Well, maybe maybe Richard has, has, has something we could buy from him. No, he's a red farmer, remember? True, true. Since we're going to be taking all this to the elevator, I think what we're going to have to do is probably get another wagon. And we can run two sets of wagons and then have Kevin run the combine and we can just be hauling grain back and forth. I can't wait for the day I move out and you can't keep sucking out of my bank account. <laughs> Here's the thing, Buck, though. Like... As long as our assets hold hold value, we're gonna be fine, just fine. And as long as grain prices stay up too, and interest rates stay low. You are thinking, well, you are trying to wait way too far into the future on this, buddy. <laughs> Side note, guys, we are spending money like crazy. You do not want to run a farming operation like this, like, cause me and Buck, we buy like new tractors every day and stuff. So you like, buy new tractors every day. If you guys do, go check out Buck's Nebraska Farm Series he has on his YouTube channel. And when you do, leave him a nice comment if he buys anything new. A very nice comment. Okay, so I didn't purchase, um, but I traded some money in for a another wagon. And so we got another wagon on the farm coming up here that we're going to put behind another wagon. So we'll have two wagon trains. And that way, one of us can be doing something productive and the other can be run wagons back and forth is what I'm thinking here. It would be nice to buy a semi, but we just don't have the money, so... Instead, I just traded dollars for a wagon. Now, we're trying to get the co-ops in Hydra's bar, but the co-op's not open today, and so they, they're not putting Hydra's down, so I'm hoping I can borrow our neighbors in Hydra's bar, which would be nice to start getting some nitrogen down for some corn, and it kind of knocks out some tillage, too, a little bit. We're gonna hit, hook up the 4755, get in there, and we're gonna connect it to that, 
And then we're gonna go get, grab our other wagon that we have this size and hook it up also. I gotta talk to Buck, but what we should be doing right now is making hay. It's October 2nd. We're gonna get a frost that's gonna kill all of our grass. We can still get a nice cutting off of it. And then we need hay for the heifers that we just got in. And so they don't have feed right now. Hey Buck, you just about full there? Yeah, looks like you got about 10% left in that back wagon. Okay, I'm gonna come in right behind you then and I'll unload behind you. Well, he just got done. That's what I was trying to finish off on the top off. Okay. I'm just gonna take this to the elevator because by the time I get back, he'd be, he'd be able to fill these things up. 10-4, I'll keep it rolling. Hey Buck, if you don't mind, I'm gonna start cutting some hay, because we need cattle feed bad. Oh, well, that works for me. Okay. Okay, to stay as efficient as possible, I said I was not gonna, we were gonna put hydros on this and we weren't gonna rip this, but we're gonna just run some tillage on these corn stalks here, just to get this thing going. We gotta get some ground worked. So, I'm gonna have one of the neighbor boys run this. I'll get them started, and then they can run this machine. And it is a field cultivator. Residue's not that much, so we can get away with it in the fall here, around a field cultivator. If you guys look in the upper right hand corner, we have some rain coming in. That's going to stop everything. It's going to stop corn harvest, it's going to stop any hay, it's going to stop any tillage. Especially if it's supposed to stay warm here, the ground's not going to freeze, we can't get out there. So, we're kind of in a rush to get stuff done as fast as possible. Okay, we got Kevin going in the combine, and he's about full. So we're going to unload him here because Buck's not back, and then this will keep Kevin going so he's not stopped or anything. I was lying, guys. That's Kevin's wife that took over for a little bit. He had to run, and so we're having him run the combine, but his wife took over, which I didn't even realize. Buck never told me, and she's filling the back wagon. Okay, she's empty, so we're going to head on down and just wait for her to get to the end way down there. That's about 75% full. Do you want to come and... Uh, Help me hook up the mower. I can get it hooked up to the 4020. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Should be fine. Yeah. Did, did Kevin ever tell you that his wife was taking over the combine? She was driving hey, the combine. Hey, you didn't know that? No. Nobody told me. That's truly. Really... And hey, Kevin said he had to run back to the... I knew he had to get back to work at some point, so I guess she came out here and... Doing a little bit of work. Well, at least she... work never killed anybody. Yeah. At least she's not a Nancy. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna get hooked up to the new hole in Haybine. Me and Buck, we haven't used this. You got about a foot. We gonna hit that jack though. You're fine. You're between the linkage. Okay. Get this thing hooks up by a drawbar anyway. There you go. Oh, that's a little tight. Come on. Should be good. There we go. Okay, so we have two fields. We have a alfalfa alpha field. Oh, he's just fishing up the end rows there. We have an alfalfa alpha field behind the hog barn here. But then we also have an alfalfa field on the strips here that we harvested soybeans. So we're going to start on the hillside, the strips. This is some better stuff, better quality stuff. So we might as well get that knocked out first. We're going to get her started here. The 4020 is struggling a bit on these side hills. I'm trying to make up here. She is screaming. We're slipping a little bit. We're kind of running out of power. We should be fine once we get up here though. Okay, and we are done with that. I'm gonna stop her. We're gonna bring her straight here. This is all mouse control. It's actually really neat with the mower. We'll bring her straight here. We gotta haul a couple loads into town here. Buck's got all the wagons full, so we should be ready to go. And then we probably need to buy a rake because we don't have a rake. For now though, I'm gonna park the mower on the edge of the field and we're gonna just sprint to the 4755. There is a nice, beautiful truck here sitting in the field. I might sprint to that and then take that to the 4755. And we need a little bit of grain in the back yet, but I think that combine has a little bit in the back. So we're going to get going here. we we'll go 10th gear, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. I think I can hit road gear. The, the, the field's pretty smooth. Get her going, Book. Now hopefully time to think this won't turn into a suicide jockey. Oh gosh. <laughs> Buck went up the hill. Here we go. The 47 just pulls her straight up the hill in 15th gear. Okay, some loser's ahead of us, so we gotta wait here. Oh shoot, I still have my CB on. Oh, I'm just not gonna acknowledge the fact that, you know, I got Michelins. They travel faster. I think you got 42 inch rubber, which 46 inch rubber, which we have, should give us a little more top end, or that might be 38 inch. Oh, this is our 50s, what? All right, slow poke, come on. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> 
Hang on. What the heck kind of magician are you? Houdini's. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Slowpoke. We're going to unload this corn. Unload the back one. There we go. Dude, if Ross made a tractor like this, like the 40 series, like a 4440, oh man, that'd be awesome. Honestly, don't tell Buck, but one of my favorite tractors coming up that we might be looking at if I see one for sale is like a 4555 or like a 4450 or something like that. Coming up here, as far as prices, we are in October. So we are at the low, like $500 per liter is what it is, or like liter, something like that. In January here, we're going to be getting $900 per liter. So our corn's going to be worth a lot more. Right now, our bins are kind of messed up. Otherwise, we'd be taking everything to the bins. Okay, so we're knocking out acres. We probably got about 20 acres done since I've seen you guys last. Like, we're going. And we got Kevin's wife again around the combine. And if you look down in the bottom right-hand corner, we have bushels. There is actual bushels. Buck got the unit convert mod, and so that's going to convert liters to bushels. It just feels more American. So I think the front wagon is completely full. That holds 250 bushels, and as you can see on our bushel thing, we're half full with 250 bushels. So a full load of this will hold 500 bushel is what it's telling us. And also, we have $204,000 right now just because Buck was doing some landscaping stuff around the farm. And landscaping t stuff takes all your money away. Like, we could literally paint a nice pasture and spend 200 grand in farm sim. It's crazy. So we have to add money for that. In like a second, you'll see our account go back down to the normal $77,000. We went to the co-op. We have an hydrus bar. And it's just barely small enough to be able to pull behind this. Because this thing takes a lot of horsepower. It's like 15 horsepower per shank. And it just perfectly matches up with old Alice here. New Alice here. So we're going to take the Ford. Take these two anhydrous tanks. Go fill them up at the co-op. And then we're getting anhydrous down for corn next year. So if you guys don't know what anhydrous is when I say it. Other term. People say NH3. Some people say gas. Um, basically it's a form of nitrogen. It's a gas form of nitrogen. And so you put it down with shanks. And as you're going through the field. It pulls from these from the tanks in here goes through the shanks on the toolbar and goes into the ground and binds with the soil and it's the nitrogen and corn needs nitrogen soybeans doesn't need any guys have done tests by putting in some nitrogen on soybeans to see if there's any yield there might be a little bit of yield difference but soybeans do not require nitrogen whereas corn requires a ton and you guys have never been to the co-op nice co-op in town heartland co-op they give us all of our nitrogen take a lot of grain there buy some chemical fertilizer from them it all works out pretty good. They got kind of like a livestock sales place. And then they got uh, they got just a lot of fertilizer. There's the scale. I don't know if they want me on the scale or what. Hey, I'm Richard. Nice. Grant, what, the what are you doing here? You work here? Yeah. I finally got the, the money that I got the divorce filed through. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm a little short on funds because I threw, I threw the lady. I threw Nancy out. She does not get to keep anything. I actually won the case. I won all of it. It was great, but the only thing is that I did have to split up a majority of my assets, so I actually ended up losing that new Styga Panther of mine, or whatever, the five, the five, so whatever, I, I can't remember anymore because I didn't have it long enough. But either way, I got the job here, so I helped run the co-op, and uh, basically, if uh, I see you got NA3, the Hydra's tanks, I need you to get on the scale first, because that's how we're going to charge you. We need to know the empty weight, and then we're going to fill you up, and then we'll know what that weight is, and then we'll know how much we charge you. I gotta shake your hand. Congrats on yeah, it. Congrats on the divorce, you, man. This is like the start of a new era. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know Richard, the lady at the bar. bar um, what's her name? What's her name? It's on my tongue. Uh, Cheryl? Yeah, Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl's, uh, Cheryl's. Yeah, <laughs> Cheryl's single. <laughs> Richard, if you're looking. Yeah, I think for right now, what I gotta do is I gotta make some money before I can go hand it to another woman, all right? That was <laughs> my first mistake. True. Well, where's Nancy living? Heck if I know and heck if I care. Did you get the house though? Oh yeah, I got to keep everything. Like I okay. said, this is like the best outcome I could have asked for. Okay. Dang. Well. I need to get you on the scale so we can get to going out of here because I know there's going to be a line later today. They were talking about it at coffee this morning at the gift, at the, at the gas station. We'll call you at, yeah, we'll call you even at 5,400. 5,400 okay. pounds. Pull around to the big tank on the... Far side, not the bit, not those big ones, the little ones on the side to Van Hydras. Okay, she should be full. All right, so let's get you back on the scale and we'll see what you owe me. You came in at 5,400 and you're coming out at 7,400. So you exact, you have one exactly one ton worth of nitrous right here. 
That means you owe me two hundred dollars and thirteen, two hundred and thirteen dollars. I'll get my checkbook. That's for the other Dairy Queen trip. You remember that? Why else would I have said two hundred and thirteen dollars? <laughs> you can't just me... charge for that here while you're working at the co-op, Richard. <laughs> I just take it out of my paycheck. Okay. Well, let me grab a checkbook. Okay. I'll write her inside. I've over enough in my life. Thirty-five years of absolute dog quad. Okay. You said uh, two hundred and thirteen dollars, or I could write two hundred and make thirteen bucks out to you, Richard. I like that better. Man, it doesn't look like I'm schooling the co-op. 200 for the co-op, and $13. Got a sale. Ding! <laughs> Ding! $13 to Richard. And uh, what was your last name again, or did you change names? Swoboda. To oh, Swoboda, that's right. There you go. And there's a check. Ding! Okay. Fail. We good? Yes, sir. You are good to go. Okay. Well, have a good one, bud. Yeah. Don't go too crazy. Don't yeah. do what I do. Don't live your life like I lived mine. Mine's an absolute dumpster you're, fire just waiting to happen. You're good, Richard. Life's changed, man. You change. You I like do change. You look like but a brand I haven't new changed man. for the better. Look like a brand new man, yeah, because I had to go get another set of bibs. Okay, so we're full. We're going to head on down the highway, and there's actually a lot more weight here, so we got to take her slow. The Ford has a tough time pulling her. And we made it back to the farm. You know what's crazy? Is I've had no bites on that header there. It's been sitting there for a while, it seems like. We're in the Alice, we're gonna get hooked up to the tank. We dropped it off at the truck here. As you can see, we have anhydrous down below and this should work. Me and Buck, we've never done this, so hopefully it works. Okay, we're gonna unfold her, get that side down, bring the other side down, and then just drop her on. It should change ground texture color, I'm assuming. Okay, yeah, so that's applying. So we're good to go. This is gonna work good. And it's knocking out a tillage pass, so I think in the spring we can come in here and just plant this. I don't really think we need to field cultivate behind it. I mean, it's pretty, it's leaving a pretty nice level seed bed. So we should be fine. We got Buck on the CB here. Yeah, Buck. Hey, so technically uh, we can get a bin. Since our other site's not working right now, we could possibly just get like a quick uh, style four ring bin from, oh, which company is that? West Steel? Okay. They got a 19 foot four ring that we can basically get. We have that one pad that's already up by the cattle shed in between the two fields that we got. Yep. I think it holds 130,000 some liters, but that way we can at least have something to store until we can either dry corn or sell corn in January or dry it and sell it for more later. Yeah, I think that'd be the best. I mean, we're gonna make so much money just selling it alone. Oh gosh, okay, we're so good. I think they only want 12,000 for those bins. Yeah, I'd say let's just put one up. Let's get it, because this is going to be way more efficient instead of holding the town now and taking lower prices. We can get some higher prices in January. Okay, because that one I know we're going to be able to get our, our current auger up to the top, or at least we should be able to. Okay, that'll work good. We'll plan on that. Okay, I'll get the guy, and I'll, I'll go back to the landline, and I'll go get those guys on, on the line. Okay, so everything's going good on Hydrus. Besides, we got the field cultivator sitting out in the field still. I need to grab another tractor and get that moved out of there. But it's working good. We got a lot of acres to knock out, but with this toolbar, I mean, it's a pretty wide toolbar. And there goes Book. There's a chance that we might need to trade this deer auger in for the versatile. That's a bit longer. We're about four feet short of the spout up on top. I can talk to that, uh, that guy over there at the versatile dealer and see if he can take a trade. We might be able to scrap him for maybe 500 bucks off on the trade that we'd have to come up with. But that'd be about it. Well, we could get the Westfield auger. Problem is that one costs almost upwards of eight. We could literally almost wash if we get the versatile one versus having to pay almost seven, eight grand for the Westfield. And the, the versatile is only like, I think four feet shorter or something. Okay, yeah. Let's just go after the versatile. Okay, I'm gonna take this into town. I'll see what we can do. Okay. All right, Chief, I got good news and bad news. Got the auger. Problem was they didn't give me nearly as much for the trade as I thought they would. Shoot. We had to pay in $1,700 instead of I think what I was thinking about almost 500 bucks, so a thousand bucks to a 500 bucks. So I'll just take that out of my check this month once we get paid out of the crop. Well, I mean, fuck, it's it's literally a farm decision. It's fine. Nah, I'm over there yelling that we can't be getting stuff new, but the auger was short on that, so. Okay. I'll just deduct it off mine this time. Okay, so currently all of our wagons are full. The combine is completely full with corn. And so we're waiting for the bin to get finished and we're gonna dump all this corn in the bin. Because January coming, we got some nice prices 
at the co-op some nice bases and we're gonna make a lot of money if we store our, our grain it almost pays to just put up a new bin pretty much so that's what we're doing is this gonna work buck it should i got everything lined up up there to the okay. best that it can auger tends to like to roll a little bit so i'll have to watch that we might have to flatten something or put a some sort of a what do they call those use the level stuff okay uh oh leveler like when you're leveling a cabinet out you yeah i know what you're talking about in there. I call them just a leveler. Call there we go augers going we're unloading oh yeah Second one's going. It's going up into the bin. Perfect. Okay, those are empty. I think Buck's gonna go grab his 4230 quick and empty those because both of those are full and the combine's even full right now, so we gotta empty the combine also. Buck, why aren't you going any faster? I can't. It stalls. <laughs> Holy... You're spinning for sure. Okay, so we're gonna finish just a little patch here. So then we got some long rows, about a quarter mile rows coming up here. Well guys, me and Buck still have probably 40, 50 acres of corn to finish up. Still gotta finish in hydrous tillage before the snow comes in, but we're getting there. We're getting close. We're getting somewhat close and we need to get some hay finished and made, but we got a lot done. We're making improvements. We're getting there. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this episode and hey, we'll see you guys in the next one.